Et si, monsieur, un livre merveilleux, it is the story of our times. It was the abject, an old French tradition. I was ashamed of my ignorance and showed it to the friend I was with. Do you know it, I asked. Of course, he said, it's his masterpiece. He died before the war. It was only that evening when I sat down to read and saw his name. Did I once again remember the old man in the chair, the hazy sun, the sea, and the sand? In truth, I didn't know what I wanted. Only that within me there was an unknown need, an itch that tormented just out of reach. I want to be free, I thought to myself, ignorant of what freedom was or what it might be for. Under that gaze, I often shivered. A sensation as keen and as delicate as when I was naked and alive. I began to feel as if I possessed him. I reached out to embrace him. Our bodies touched. And we kissed. in that kiss, he faded. And I awoke trembling to find myself clasping the bolster, the covers twisted and lying at the end of the bed. As a child, I could have run to my mother and blurted out what it was that I wanted. But I was on the brink of manhood. There were secrets that couldn't be revealed. 